Capricorn. Hi, it's Jackie B here. It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? It's been a little while since we've been hanging out. Um, I'm here to do your reading for you. Let's see what current energy is happening. Um, for those of you who are new here, I'm Jackie B. I am a light worker, an intuitive and a manifesting mentor. And I'm going to have a look and see what's going on. So Capricorn, I hope you've been well. If there is um, if you feel called to, I would love for you to support this channel any way you feel called to. Um, but let's get started. Because it's general, it may not always um, resonate, but there is always wicked, awesome, yummy content and sort of gold nuggets in these videos. Angels, guides and spirits, guide me please for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know today? Angels, guides and spirits, guide me. Yes, there is a chainsaw in the background today. <laughs> I've been saying it's manifesting 101. There are challenges and distractions in our life and in order for us to succeed in what it is that we want, we need to be able to stay focused when we have these distractions. So I'm rolling with the chainsaw in the background. You may be able to hear it, you may not. But anyway, let's get started. Thank you, Spirit. And just guides and spirits guide me for Capricorn. Wow, voice of truth. What is this about? Joan of Arc, voice of truth for you, Capricorn. Wow, okay. So it says, stand strong, focus on your purpose, Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. What is this about? Let's have a look. Angels, guides and spirits, guide me. Angels, guides and spirits, guide me. Angels, guides and spirits, guide me. Let's have do it in the way of uh, relationships and then we'll do it in the way of career. Angels, guides and spirits, guide me. Here's the Capricorn. What is this message regarding relationships, please? Angels, guides, and spirits, guide me. What is this message regarding relationships for Capricorn? Angels, guides, and spirits, guide me. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, so in, in terms of relationships... I feel as if though you've been on quite the journey with this person um, or you've been on a journey yourself uh, regarding finding a person and I can see that there's been a lot of challenges. So I just want to say that if somebody new has come into your life or if there is um, some question right now around whether or not you will come together because I feel like that's what this is. It's kind of like I've been on a journey and I've been through a lot and um, I want a positive outcome. I want you know, I've been through a lot with this um, particular person. Um, and then in relation to speaking your truth or voicing your truth, stand strong, focus on what it is that you desire and release fear of persecution and speak your truth. So that could be that you need to speak to somebody about how you're feeling within a relationship. Um, and maybe this journey is about... Um, saying you know uh, this is too much for me or you there is some changes are required I've come a long way I maybe you've outgrown somebody or maybe you are now in a space um, where you are a vibrational match to somebody because you've been through so much but I do see a positive kind of coming together um, I do see a positive kind of outcome for you regarding relationships so um, what I would say to you is to speak about the challenges that you are having, to speak about the burdens that you are carrying around this. Um, for those of you who like to see the cards, I've got the Hierophant of being on this journey. And this is um, about understanding that you're on the journey and accepting the journey and knowing that uh, it all is a process and all is a journey and that if you keep going, um, there is always enlightenment and that there is always joy and that there is always understanding and that there is always positive outcomes if you keep going. 
And so here is acknowledgement of the burdens that you may be carrying. But the thing about this Ten of Wands that I love is that regardless of how heavy these burdens are, this energy is like, let's do this. We're going anyway. And here it is, the Two of Cups, beautiful coming together of two positive energies. Um, so those are two uh, complementary energies coming together to create synergy. So there's a beautiful um, coming together happening. And so I feel like what activates that is this voice of truth, you speaking and focusing on your purpose, which could be very well be happiness, you know, wanting a particular relationship and speaking your truth into that. Let's have a look around what career would be, what this would be in terms of career or what this would be in terms of business, finances and money. What would this be in terms of business, finances and money, please, Spirit, for Capricorn? What would this be in terms of business, finances and money, please, and for Capricorn? Thank you. Why did I... I totally envisaged that card. What you put in, you get out. So this is talking about flow, right? And so this is, uh, again, voice your truth, stand strong, focus on your purpose, release fear of persecution, and speak your truth. So what you're putting in, you're receiving back. So um, we've also got manifestation. So we've got the magician. The magician saying that you have got everything that you need to make something work, to bring something into your field. The only thing that is really getting in the way of this energetic flow of the, of the, of the investing and then the receiving, of the putting in and the receiving back, uh, because they say you've got all that you require in order for this to be a positive outcome. So you've been working on this and you've been, you have the skills for it. And so it's like you're weaving something together right now and it is in flow and we want to keep it in flow. So what needs to be put in in order for you to receive? And then it's got voice of truth, standing strong, focusing on your purpose. What is the outcome that you desire and staying focused on that? And then releasing any kind of ego, any kind of fear that you're having that may be distracting you or blocking you from that. And I feel like that is this because the Eight of Swords talks about everything that is going on that is feeling heavy and weighted right now being within you. So it is that the persecution is the fear of persecution is actually the block right now. The fear of failure, the fear of getting it wrong, the fear of it not working out the way that you want it to work. It, that is what's getting in the way of this flow is you sort of being all in your head about it, which I mean... <laughs> We are in this third dimension. We are in this third density. It is slow moving. And so everything is very, feels very personal. Everything feels very scary at times. And we feel, but if we can raise ourselves out of it and know that when things come to us that don't look packaged in the way that we wanted them to be packaged in, that that doesn't mean stop. It means keep going because you're getting there. So you don't stop, you continue on the road. I can see that you've had some challenges, otherwise you wouldn't have these fears. Uh, you know, these fears come from a place of either pain or past disappointment. or. But I can say to you that you've been on a road and that all of the challenges and the obstacles that you've experienced, Capricorn, have paved a way for this to be successful, for this to be. And so it is about um, putting putting in and then trusting that you will receive. So making intelligent, intellectual choices um, and intuitive, like intuitively acting, doing what you feel prompted to do, not prompted by ego or fear, but prompted by spirit. So stepping out of your comfort zone uh, and um, doing what you feel called to do, speaking your truth and then trusting that if you continue to do that, that what you desire will come into your energetic field. Um, and that it is about removing um, the blocked, 
the blocks that we have subconsciously um, in our frequency in order to be a vibrational match to what you want. So thank you very much for being here with me. I would love for you to support this channel any way you feel called to do that, if you feel called to do that. And I hope to see you again. There are so many links in the description box and so many ways that I can assist in supporting you more uh, moving forward with your manifestations and your healing and your spiritual journey. So I hope that you'll check those out too. Thank you for being here and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.